Kia ora year 12 and 13. This video is going to go through three more trig identity proofs. These are again from Delta chapter 34.1. So question 9 asks you to do this one. Prove that, whoops, sine x tan x plus cos x 6 squared x is equal to sine squared x plus 1 over cos x. Alright, so as before, we're going to just substitute in for tan here, and we'll substitute things in for sec squared x. So they're really just algebra, not trig. Okay, so sine of x times tan is sine of x over cos x plus cos of x. Now, what's sec squared? Well, sec is 1 over cosine, so that's times 1 over cos squared of x. Remember the convention here is that when we're doing trig, our powers of functions are written this. So we don't write sec x squared, because that would be confusing. Okay, so sorry about the little aside, I'll keep going. Now, what I've got here is I've got, the, this is the left-hand side. Right now we want to simplify it, and hopefully we'll get towards the right-hand side. So that equals sine squared x on cos of x plus 1 over cos of x. Oops, slide's gone weird. Okay, where are we? Right, 1 over cos of x. Now I've got a common denominator now, so we're nearly there. So we've got cosine of x on the denominator and on the top line we've got sine squared of x plus 1 and that is what we were trying to show to start with. So now we write as required. Alright, um, on to the next one. Okay, next identity, so this is question 11 now. And we're wanting to prove that sec of x plus tan of x is equal to 1 plus sine of x divided by cosine of x. Right, so we start from the left hand side and we work towards the right hand side. So start by writing out what the left hand side is. And then we go sec of x is 1 over cos of x plus, well, tan of x is sine of x over cosine of x. So that all equals 1 plus sine of x over cosine of x as required. So that's that one done. Alright, question 13. Show that, oh, this one's a bit messier, cot of x plus tan of x over cosec x sec, that's an x there, sec x is equal to something. Ah, we're just told, to, we're not told to prove anything about this. Sorry, this is just a simplify. Okay, so this will be interesting. This is slightly different. We don't know where we're headed, but we're just going to do the obvious things and substitute it. So I'm not going to write that whole expression out again because that's just too painful. But I'm going to substitute in. Well, let's do the denominator first. So cosec x is 1 over sine x. Sec x is 1 over cos of x. So that's that done. Now let's look at the top line, the numerator. Cot x is the reciprocal of tan of x, so it's cos of x over sine x, plus sine of x over cos x. Right, so we'll take a bit more space. Let's look at what we've got. Well, the, the numerator is this. And we are dividing that, put that in a big bracket, dividing it by 
1 over sine x cos x. So in the next line I'm going to put the two bits together. So in the big bracket we're going to have a common denominator of sine x cos x. Right, and cross multiplying, so multiplying both of these by cosine of x gives me cos squared of x. Right, we're multiplying both the numerator and the denominator here by sine of x, so we're going to have sine squared of x. Right, just the usual thing with getting a common denominator for my fractions. Right, and this will be times sine of x cos of x. Right, so this and this um, can be simplified. Sine of x cos x divided by sine of x cos x is just 1. So the whole thing is just cos of x, cos squared of x plus sine squared of x, and that is just 1. So that was quite cool how far that simplified down. That's all I'm going to do in this video. I'll keep going with some harder ones in 34.2, but I'll put them into a separate uh, YouTube clip.